got low on the other We tie it up, we just like one another She's got the figure, real lady And me and her could make some pretty babies Why your waist round, 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 round Shake that booty down, 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 down Why your waist round, 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 round Shake that booty down, 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 down What's up family? Welcome to DMO World if you're new to the channel, I'm Tommy. I'm Sharon. And welcome, 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 guys. Today, I thought it's about time we addressed what is really going on with Sharon. Yeah. It's time we opened up and tell you guys exactly what's going on. So maybe like a couple of weeks back, you may have seen that I did a video addressing well, not really addressing kind of like, we would have to speculate what was wrong with Sharon because we're getting lots of comments. Why is Sharon so miserable in the videos? What's wrong with her moods? She's such a bar humbug. She's such a bar humbug. Don't do videos if you don't want to do them. Like, mm, Yeah, so okay. Sharon really hasn't been that well. Um, we just thought now, now's the time. <laughs> We address this and let you guys what's really going on with my wife. <sighs> Where do shall, I even start? Shall I, shall I try? Shall I tell them? Sorry, I'm so, not. Like... Okay, I'll, I'll start a little bit. Alright. So, um, as I said, I've been quite unwell. Very, very unwell. I've been in and out of hospital. Um, Look how skinny she is, isn't it? Yes, you know, getting treatment and everything. I've got, I lost, what was it, from 73, 74 kilos. And I'm, like now, I went to 66. I've gained a bit of weight now. It's a lot of weight to lose, isn't it? So it's a lot of weight to lose in a space of about three weeks. Or if that, or less. All right, guys, so here it is. Here's what's been going on with Sharon. <laughs> Guys, better late than never, better late than never, <laughs> we are having baby number two. We had our scan, all is good, we're having baby number two. It's so, exciting, isn't it? We're all excited. Are you emotional, Aurora? I think Aurora's emotional here. She is. Just being all funny, like, kind of hiding, but are you emotional? You're going to be excited that you're going to be a big sister. Oh. Yeah, I know. It's exciting time. It's just a long time to wait, though. Yeah, guys, we are expecting baby number two. Uh, Sharon's only 12 weeks, so she's, it's still early. So, you know, still need your prayers. You know, we've still got a long way to go, but we're just so excited. We can finally put it out there. Now, we're not lying about Sharon being in and out of hospital. Sorry, okay. I don't know if you got you wanna Yeah, tell so the story. basically um we had an early scan on the twenty eighth, which was my birthday yep. of April. And two days later, if you remember this on the Friday, I went out with my sister and on the way back I had terrible like motion sickness. And from then on I, I came back home, led in bed from about two till And that was it. That was it. You were in bed for about a month. Yeah. Sickness. Sickness. So it's something called like hyperemesis, brother. But basically that HG mm -hmm. is like severe morning sickness. So you can't you... eat anything, you can't <laughs> drink anything. So I was severely dehydrated. Tried to put me on anti-sickness. They tried so different medication, but they didn't work. I went in the hospital twice for IV fluids for the dehydration. Um, and yeah, I literally couldn't do anything. I couldn't cook, I couldn't clean, I couldn't take her to school. So we had to get his mum to come help us some, you know, one day. But the thing is not saying this to, you know, for sympathy, but just to emphasize how 
this hyperemesis is not normal, normal sickness, you know. Cause she was ill. She was really ill. I mean, you can see by her shoulders, like, mm -hmm. she's lost weight. And yeah. Like, like it's, and it's probably like a month straight where you're just literally in bed. You couldn't eat. You couldn't even drink water. No. So it's like those two times she had to go into hospital. That was like to, let's put like three bags of fluid into her. Um, mm -hmm. And obviously, yeah, yeah, three bags. And obviously, we, the thing is, like, we... <laughs> It's not scary, it's just it's, it's just a medical procedure. But yeah, guys, we couldn't really like say any of this before because we weren't obviously ready to say she was pregnant yeah. that early. So yeah, there was times where in vlogs she was feeling really sick, like really unwell. The and vlog with me with the braids and the red jumper where people were saying that, that I had just come out of the hospital. Yeah, and it's my bad really for, for shoving the camera in your face when you feel sick. Oh so God. I take responsibility for that, so don't, Guys, I don't want you, everyone's thinking, oh, Sharon, she's oh like, gosh. she's bar humbug, she's this, that, and the other. Like, there's a, not everyone, sorry, this was just a few people yeah. being quite judgmental about how Sharon's views were often. Like I say, maybe I shouldn't have vlogged at all, but that's basically the reason Sharon's been a little bit absent yeah. and a little bit off of the channel for the past, good, like, three months, really. But, mm. but there's been loads of people that have reached out um, and, you know. <laughs> Okay. There's lots of people that reached out and you know um, sent me prayers, you know, like Kathy. Um, yeah, she's been so good, just like sending me some prayers through my Instagram, and just saying she's thinking of me. You know, obviously my friends have been been so supportive as well. So it's not always been. It's not just been like people just being like that. Oh, no, okay. we've had a, a lot of people that have been like you know. You, let okay? Sharon be, yeah, is everything, if, if there's something going on, you know, and it, and it shows in our videos, yeah. like, let them be. And it's, it's difficult when it was YouTube Live because we've got to stay consistent with it. We've got to keep putting out those, the content, but... You've got to make we, sure that you're okay yourself. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, we just have to go ahead and push and show bits of our lives that maybe aren't so happy and jolly all the time. That's how we feel, you know, we, we try and keep it real. So, but obviously, some people don't like that. Some people just want to see... Happy Mary. Yeah, like all the time. It's just our lives just aren't like that, you know. We're real people. Yeah, basically the reason, obviously, why we're saying this thing, because like, um, initially, like the the GP weren't wasn't really, well, the doctors here weren't really as understanding, were they? They just thought, oh, no, like it's just morning sickness. It's normal. Just take. Drink water. drink water yeah try and drink water try and eat little and often I said you can't even eat mm. like little and often if I could I would have done so but it, you know it, it took a while for them to actually take me serious I think because when I went to, to A&E and they tested my urine and they just said you're like severely dehydrated that's when they started that whole process like okay we need to give her some medication we need to keep an eye on her but it's like, I don't know what it is, whether they, they don't know much about it or they just watch out for your friends, family members, colleagues that are pregnant because, yeah, it's tough out here. There's things they don't tell you, but, you know, there's light at the end of the tunnel. We've got a healthy pregnancy so far. We've got, mm. you've seen on the scan that we've got a 12-week-old baby growing in there. I'm like, I'm so over the moon, guys. I'm like, I'm cloud nine right now. Like... It's taken us a little while. We've we've had yeah. we've had a fair share of heartache. We've had miscarriages, like before Aurora and after. Um, we had a, a breakup just after we had Aurora, which obviously you know delayed things. Delayed so things, yeah. it's taken us a while to have our second child, but better late than never. Precisely, precisely. So yeah. that's what's been going on, guys. That's what's been going on. So maybe you might see me a bit more. Maybe not. Depends well, on the mood, depends on how I'm feeling at that time, but I'm much better than I was. <laughs> Basically, we're trying to put off telling Aurora we wanted to like leave it till a bit late on the pregnancy. Maybe like around this sort of time, once we had the scan and you know, we know that it's we're over that first hurdle, gender reveal or something. Yeah, we're sure. um, but I had to go into a pharmacy to pick up some anti sickness medication for her with Aurora. The pharmacist said to me, um. Oh, is she, is she pregnant then? Is this for a pregnant woman or something along those lines? As soon as I said that, Aurora's ears just perked up. 
Is mummy pregnant? Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah. And I was there like, I, I thought, oh no, cat's out of the bag. I got to like, I tried to backtrack a little bit and I was just fumbling yeah, and she started getting upset because I was backtracking because she'd had that little bit of hope. Um, and I, yeah, she just basically found out by accident. So yeah, she's known about this for a long time. And she did a little happy dance as well, didn't she? In the, in the, um, in Morrison's. In fact, I think I've got a video. I was going to say, dance. yeah. No, it's actually pregnant. I'm so young. Let me get him. Thank you for shopping at Morrison's. She did a little happy dance that she did, bless her, in Morrison's. She was the happy dancing that her mommy is pregnant. She's Finally, she's been praying, literally she's been praying every night and she for a sibling. Like every and night. And it happened. And it happened. Got to think, Aurora, Aurora's five years old and, you know, she's she's been an only child for five years and she's seen cousins and friends, etc. that have all got siblings and, she, you know, she's starting to wonder why she didn't have yeah. one herself, so she's happy. I need a baby girl. Yeah. Super happy. We're all happy and this is just like, yeah. For me, this is why I'm here, to reproduce, to have kids. Like, that's my purpose. Not It's not for everyone, you know, some people don't rate having kids, but for me, it's like, it's what I've always dreamed of, just having a family, over anything, over money, jobs, whatever, like, just to have a family has been like, my one biggest dream. And it's happened already, we've got Aurora, but, you know, we're blessed. You just want more. Yeah, we're, I mean, as soon as this one's born, like, we might even get on to making the third one. You're having a laugh, mate. Maybe not. I mean, I'd have a third. I don't know about Sharon. That's the, oh, that's, guys, that's the thing. So I'm really praying that this baby is a boy because if it's not, I might not ever, ever have a son because this might be- <laughs> That is it. This, might, this is probably my last this opportunity to have a son because she's not going to want any more kids after this. I know she's not. What do you guys think in the comments? What do you think the baby is? Boy or girl, ah, oh, guys. I, Oh, don't get me wrong. If it was another girl, of course I'd be grateful. I'd be, I'd be grateful. It is what it is. It's, it's meant to be what it's meant to be. But if I have the choice, I, I really want a son. Maybe I it's not. I want to know what, the, what guys think. Oh, I know you like, think. With the war, I wasn't. I was working in the hospital. I was walking up and down. I was a bit nauseous, mm. but I wasn't this bad nauseous where I was bedridden. So, so this one's different. We're hoping, different. we're hoping because the pregnancy feels different that maybe it's a boy, but I don't but know if that's true. You never know. Yeah. Uh, like, I don't know. There's something in, in the, the air or the water around there that just seems to be a lot Lots of girls, girls being born. Like a lot of our yeah. friends, family, just all have girls. A lot of quite often in pairs as well. So yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's probably, it, it might be another girl. I don't know. Exactly, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm just- I know you're gonna shed a tear. I might be initially a little bit disappointed if it's a girl, but don't get me wrong, I'm, Dad, I'm just happy. Don't be disappointed if it's a girl, because you need to be grateful. Of course, of course I'm grateful. To be having... See, my child is smart. Did you hear that? Yeah. She She's... said, don't be disappointed, you need to be grateful. Of course I will. I'm like, I'm so, so grateful. Like, I'm so really grateful to have one child, let alone two. So, if it's a girl, it's meant to be. Aurora will be happy she's got a baby sister. So, I'll yeah. be, of course I'll be happy. Uh, it's another boy. Do you want to tell them anything? Guys, uh, my daddy bought me a present and, and it's got so many pieces. We're not going to talk your head off anymore. We appreciate your time. We thank you for listening to us. Thank you for being patient, guys, with Sharon. Those of you who have picked up on her moods and haven't judged us or judged her for yes. it. We thank you, guys. And if, if you did kind of wonder what was off, now you know guys so it's a happy reason and maybe the, another reason why you know people shouldn't judge like someone mm. by you know their moods or appearance or whatever because you don't know what people are going through yeah exactly i know so it's easy to say like on the internet like oh you look moody you look this but just think why the, someone that's never normally moody why are they all of a sudden moody yeah you know a lot of you guys picked up on it that have been following us from day one you know that that something was wrong so shout out to the day one it wasn't wrong though really it was right 
but yeah. we just weren't feeling. Yeah. We were just feeling very sick. Very, very, very sick. Very sick. I couldn't do it. Anyway, guys, we're rambling on. We're rambling on. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. We thank you so much for all of your support so far. Smash the like button. Leave us a comment. What's it going to be, a boy or a girl? Should we do a gender reveal party? And yeah, thank you guys. We appreciate your prayers. We're going to love you, love you, and leave you. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers! Cheers!